Hey guys, it's John at Olympian Exotics here, and this is my Mitsubishi Eclipse 2001. We are doing a turn signal switch swap. So fortunately I had a few of these guys in my yard and just for this kind of purpose. Um, this guy, basically it still works, but whatever like switchy thing inside of here that actually like reset it when it turned and then also the turn the brights on just decided to stop working so we're gonna swap it and hopefully it's the actual little connector and not the wiring or something like that but we are gonna go ahead and show you how to do that so don't do what i did um and just rip this whole top piece off because you know it has a screw right here that comes in from underneath the ignition so you gotta undo that Phillips screw right there in order to not break this plastic piece. So before you start trying to pull off this plastic covering, where is my half of it? I don't even know. Um, fortunately, that doesn't actually affect the usability. It just affects the appearance. And you know, some people care about that. So just take that screw out right in there before you go ahead and yank stuff off. Cause I think that's the only one that was actually holding it on for that top cover. Then the bottom cover has got like three or four screws. So we got one, two right there. And then there's two back here towards the back. Uh, yeah, there's two back here towards the back. I think that's it. And you need a Phillips head screwdriver for that. Somehow all I could find is this little flat head. And so I had to go inside and find myself my bits and, and bust out my little drill and everything in order to do that so let's go ahead and get that done um so before i cut the video um there's two little clips they're really easy to do actually there's one right here on the top and there's one right underneath here on the side and once you get this cover off i don't think you might be able to just wedge a screw a flathead screwdriver in there and like push it in order to pull this out but there's also a electrical connector that connects underneath this guy so we're gonna have to pause the video so i can go ahead and take that off because i am not good at this and so go ahead and do that and just take out all the screws <laughs> to take this cover off and then we'll come back once I got that done. Okay guys, we're back. So here is the electrical connector right here. You can see where it positions right in there. There's a little tab right here. You just push that in, pull that right out. And then the other bottom half of the clip guy is, let's see if I can see it on the camera here, it is like right here. Push that, see it popped in. Yank that guy out right like that. This is my old one. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the new one, hopefully. I mean the new old one. Stick that guy in there. Pop that in. You wanna look at those connectors? They look all brand new to me. I mean, let's see. Yeah, it looks brand new, so. Stick that back in and fingers crossed. Let's see. Then you're gonna have to put those coverings back on, but let's see if it worked. Okay, where's my key? Okay. Ah! I just snapped it. What the heck is up with this old ass plastic? I might have to use some super glue. But okay, let's see about this. Okay, so headlights should be on now. Man. Okay, well at least the brights will turn on now. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go bust out some epoxy. Hooray! Okay, good news guys. I had another turn signal switch in another one of my eclipses. And this is why it's good to have a graveyard of lots of cars that are all the exact same thing. Okay, so we got back right in. Ah. Okay, so I just popped this guy in. See, it's a little dusty, but here's the things you want to check to make sure it's working. Okay, so let's look at the video, the screen. Okay, so make sure that you could go check your lights and make sure it works. Let's see if I can show you. So you see that bright? Yep, brights are coming on. That's a good sign. Turn signal. Clicking and holding in position. That's a good sign. 
Oh, they turn signal. Clicking and holding position. That's a good sign. It was not doing those things before. So, let's zoom back out. Zoom out. Okay. So, now we just put the covers back on and we're good to go. And that was quite a adventure. Good thing I had one, two, three, three spare eclipses in my yard because one of them just snapped. Okay, so this is the original one that came out of this car. If for whatever reason, it won't lock into position. And when it turns on the turn signal, it just like locks. And for whatever reason, the brights won't turn on with this guy anymore. And then this one, right after I installed it, I tried to test it and I snapped the twat to toggle. This little switch, as soon as I tried to turn the turn signal on, it snapped because it was so brittle, I guess. Um, so that one was actually working, but it broke, and I don't feel like gluing that back together. That's another thing you could do is epoxy that guy back together. Um, I would definitely take it off and be very careful how you epoxy it because you don't want it to go into the joints. But um, fortunately, I just had another Eclipse that I could just go steal it out of. So toss that guy to the side, and there you go. And that's why I have a graveyard of four Eclipses in my yard. Actually, there's only three spares, so you don't give me any hard times. It's only three.